Good evening, and welcome to this special interview on ESPN. I'm David Henderson. You know, I'm an interviewer, and I've interviewed so many amazing sports stars in my career. Stars like LeBron James, Tom Brady, and Derek Jeter, just to name a few. But today, you are going to get an in-depth witness of probably the best interview I've ever given in my professional career. And, if I do say so myself, one of the best interviews that ESPN has ever given. I'm going to give you an in-depth interview on how this 1v1 miniature basketball star grows to fame. Today, I'm sitting here with that basketball phenomenon, Garrett Wallace. How are you doing today? I'm great, you? Fine, thank you for asking. So, let's get to it, shall we? Okay. So, how did it all start for you? It all started for Garrett when he was playing in the last pickup game before the championship against Joshua Robinson. The game wasn't going too well for him that day as he got crossed up, missed shots, and got dunked on. Luckily, he was still able to win the game, but only by a single point. Uh, after the game, I was sitting down thinking, how will I be able to win this game on Friday? Will I be able to get the scholarship that I want so badly? All of a sudden, this man behind me taps on my shoulder and introduces himself. He said his name was Chris and that he's a big fan of me and my game, but noticed that I was struggling a lot recently. He told me that, I, that he would train me for free and that I told him that it wasn't a good idea since I really didn't know him that well. But then he gave me a $5 card from Subway and that was more than enough for me to work with him. So then he took me to a basketball hoop and we worked on some basic moves like my crossover or my pull up. Fade away. Many other things. He had also showed Garrett how to attack the basket more aggressively in the paint. After a few hours of that, he took me to a weight room at my house where he said he wanted me to bulk up. Garrett had said that the training went really well and that the two started to form a bond. But on the final day of training, he got a call when he was in the middle of working out. It was the commissioner of the 1v1 league and he told me that someone broke the hoop that me and Josh would be playing on and that the game couldn't, that it wouldn't be tomorrow. Even worse, he didn't know if he could reschedule at all. Chris tried to help me and calm me down, but that's when all my anger spilled out and I lit him up. I was screaming at him saying that this wasn't worth it and I told him to get out of my house and don't talk to me or come to a game of mine ever again. After that, I just stormed off to bed. The next morning, I woke up and then I checked my phone to see a text from the commissioner that said the game is on, we have many hoops to use. I was so excited I pretty much skyrocketed out of my bed. Even if I was just playing against Joshua on a mini hoop, I was still happy I could showcase my talent against him. After celebrating for about five minutes straight, I realized that there was one person I still needed to call, and that was Chris. The two talked on the phone, and they were able to work out their differences and make a game plan for the game, which the game plan I cannot tell you about. We go to the court and I am introduced to the tallest kid I've ever seen in my entire life and it was Joshua Robinson. He looked at me like he could have been a normal starting center in the NBA. So the game starts. I drove to the basket but he still came up behind me and blocked me. He then got the ball back and dunked it in my face. I got the ball back and threw up a pump fake. Surprisingly he jumped far behind me and I drained a mid-range shot. Pretty much every single possession of ours was the same in which I faked him out and hit jumpers and he posted up on me and dunked in my face. The score then was later tied at 19 apiece and Joshua had the ball. He posted up on me and tried to dunk again but I tried my best so that he couldn't get to the rim at all. He decided to push off me and shoot a fadeaway jumper. Fortunately for him, I remember Joshua couldn't shoot a jump shot to save his life. I knew the shot wasn't good, so I instantly ran at the ball and tried to duck it. Thinking he's easily going to get a block on me like he's done to every other opponent of his that tried to do that. But his arm didn't reach, and I was able to dunk the ball and win the championship. I was so happy that I jumped on my trainer, on my trainer in humongous joy. Then I feel someone tap my shoulder, and then I notice it was Joshua. He said I played a really great game that I really deserved the scholarship. I then thanked him, wished him luck neck wish him the best of luck next year and continue to celebrate my big win. And that is how Garrett Wallace rose to fame in the miniature basketball world. He's recently been playing very well on his new team and he hopes to have a long career. That's going to be it for us at ESPN. Thank you to everyone for tuning in for this special interview. I'm David Henderson. Have a good night everyone.